hand it back. Thanks, Gregory. Hi, everyone. Um, a couple of days ago, I, uh, I had the privilege to take part in a Native American um, sweat lodge um, out in the middle of a cow pasture. <laughs> um, there was a big fire. Um, and as the, the fire tender used a um, pitchfork to kind of adjust the coals and adjust the wood, um, the, all the embers from the fire would, you know, light up into the sky. And as I stood there and, um, and looked up, followed the embers up to the sky, um, and looked out over the stars, um, you know, I'm just, just, you know, it just brings it, it brings us all to equality, right? Um, it humbles all of us. And, um, you know, it, it essentially just equalizes, you know, every one of us. Um, and, 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 and change begins with, with ourselves, right? There's a lot of change that we're gonna see in the world, but if we can embrace that change and start with ourselves, um, I think a lot is possible. So what I'm gonna do right now is just invite everyone to kind of uh, put your devices down, put your pens down for a moment, and kind of put both feet on the ground. And um, just kind of get comfortable and kind of, you know, get comfortable in your chair. And, um, and close your eyes for a moment. And um, start to kind of uh, just notice your breath. Take a deep breath. Imagine, imagine the places where you've been and the places you've been coming from. Connect yourself to the people here in this room. And that this breath connects every living being on this planet that we call home. And I want you to imagine your breath as like a ribbon out into the world. Um, and I, now I want you to think about the place where you, where you work and the or the place where you live and think about the ecological health of that place. Is it a forest that you see? Is it a watershed or a thriving city? Narrow in on that image that you see. And, and I want to ask you, what, what's possible? What's possible? What's the regenerative possibility of that place? What's the potential, the regenerative potential of life? And now think about how you might achieve that. Who is, who is it going to take? Who are the other stakeholders involved? Bring to mind all of these different individuals that you may be working with. Take a few more breaths, and uh, you can gently open your eyes. I wanted to ask, see if uh, anybody would be willing to share with their little picture of what they envisioned. Anybody willing? Like to, would you like to share something with us? Oh, thank you. No, no, thanks. <laughs> okay. There's someone back here. 
You lost me when you said stakeholders. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, no, what I mean is that the, what you were talking about, being one with the whole. What would I change? No, what, what experience did you have? What image came to mind? Tell us about that. Yeah. Well, I, it's very close to what is now on the, on the picture, actually. Um, um, because, um, well, I cannot really put it in the words, what I have said. If, if you can tell me what the experience was, what was it? What did you, what, what, just describe it to me. The experience was the understanding that you need to be able to connect, but at the same time, you need to kind of act yourself. So in that sense, like it, seems, it seemed overwhelming to think about towards where you were leading. It seemed overwhelming to look at the level of change that you are looking at. But at the same time, you can actually make an impact. That was the feeling I had. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anybody else will, would like to say a few words about what they experienced? Oh, it's a quiet audience. <laughs> um, how about you, sir? Would you like to say a few words about what you experienced? Well, uh, yes, maybe. Well, uh, actually, uh, I can stop in, uh, let's say, uh, two uh, orientation that you gave when we close our eyes and we were imagining uh, the place where we are living or where we are working. So, yeah. So uh, at that time, of course, I I imagine the, the 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 place when I I live and when I work. When I work, it's it's nice. It's in the uh, up so. Environmentally speaking, it's not bad. The same thing like when I, I, I'm working, but between those two, the uh, photo that it comes to me, it's the very crowded uh, uh, jump that I'm facing each morning. <laughs> so, uh, and that is uh, the, the way how to deal with that uh, and the way how to, 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 to somehow uh, solve it, taking into account the maybe uh, the ideas that has been said before you make your presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, presentation is not. Can we go to the next slide, please? No, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, well. One thing I just want to recognize is that every single person here had a different experience. And I can't go around and ask everyone what, what their experience was. Um, but, and you can see how difficult it is to communicate even what the experience was that we had. Um, and I just want to highlight the importance of visual communication. Um, our ability to envision a possible future, envision a thriving future, envision a regenerative future um, is, so, is so critical. Right, and um, and so the, I, 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 you know, I, having worked in Silicon Valley, having worked in Israel, worked in China with innovation teams around the world, um, as an agile engineer, as a designer, um, you know, just the importance of visual communication is 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 incredible, um, and. Um, And this, you know, summed up in this in this quote here that the 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 single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place, right? Um, and so, what I want to step into here is that um, next slide, please. Is um, you know, what are the agreements that we can start to make with one another? What are the ecological agreements around that future potential? Um, and this is kind of like a, a very simple framework that we're working with at Regen Network, where we're combining the who, the what, the how, into an agreement that we can, that we can, uh, that Gregory will speak a little bit more about with some case studies. 